Keiko and I'm a holistic health coach at KTM Holistic Health. Today I'm going to show you how to make a non-toxic wool pillow. And it's very quick and easy, it's just getting the materials. Okay, so let me go ahead and start. So just before I do, there are a lot of different kinds of fiber that you can stuff your pillow with. This is your traditional sheep's wool. Um, you can get it domestically. Um, but it does have a little bit of that lanolin smell. And if you're a little sensitive and allergic, this may not be the best option, but it is definitely a great option. This is Surrey Alpaca, and you can kind of see how squishy it is. So this is really hard to fill it, and it'll get really expensive if you try to fill your whole entire pillow with just alpaca. So I'm gonna actually blend it, um, and I'll show you how I do that. So this is about the same amount, but you can kind of see the difference in the fiber uh, in terms of the loft and all that good stuff. Okay, so you're gonna want a total of about one and a half to two pounds of wool. Um, it just depends on what kind of pillow you like. If you like a super fluffy and lots of fiber, you're gonna want to go on the two pound end. If you kinda like it a little flatter, you can go less. Okay, so let me unfold. So this is a wool bat, and that's kind of how you buy it, wool, and then B-A-T-T, -T, wool bat. This comes right off the drum carter, which is a part of the milling process of the machine. And let me go ahead and fold this. And you can order it on Etsy, um, I guess Etsy, <laughs> or you can find a sheep farmer. So there are different ways to do it depending on what you get. I think I'm going to fold it like this. shape that you like. And you can always adjust it. So if that's good enough, you can stop right there. Does that feel good? I'm going to make it super fluffy. Okay. So that's the wool and that's going to give me that nice loft spongy thing. And then this is Surrey alpaca from my own herd. And so it's, it's nice and uh, smooth, soft, doesn't have a smell. I'm going to use that to wrap it on the top. So I've got about 10 ounces of this here. All right. So that's kind of my core wool filling. Um, you can obviously sew your own pillowcase, but I just got a zippered cotton pillow uh, case on Amazon. So just use one of these. And basically all you do is stuff it like this. And you can always take it out and readjust as you need. Um, you want to have a nice pillowcase on top, of course, that you can easily wash. Okay, so that's coming together pretty good. Okay, and then, oh my! <laughs> you just Zip it up, ooh. Just zip it up. Ah, it's stuck. <laughs> okay. Okay, so assuming you get your fiber in a little bit better, there you have it. You'll have a beautiful sleep, non-toxic. Good night.